We have slated. We'll set the slate aside. What we're doing here is we're taking a Canon 5D Mark II. We are doing a little video shoot. Dual system. Now I know the Canon 5D Mark II shoots at 1920 by 1080 video at straight 30 frames. We're recording onto a 788T and using our little Shure microphone here to do that. And we are syncing in post. And we're not really using a timecode workflow even though we're using a timecode slate, but we're using a dumb slate at the head and then we're gonna synchronize sound and picture and those elements. And then we're gonna see, we're gonna run a two and a half minute take and I can see right on my 788 here that we've been recording for about a minute. So while we're recording and we're talking about this, what I'm going to show you is our brand new CL2. The CL2 is a little remote control interface for the 788T. You can see right now the CL2 is in command and in fact I'm going to change the fader here and you're going to you see that I went away because I now have fader control of my microphone. In addition to that, I've got some switches on here. Now, if I hit this switch and take that off, we're going to stop recording because I've programmed this switch to be a record enable switch. You also see microphone activity or input signal activity on the green LED here. You see recording status here and then the power LED doubles as power indication that shows you the CL2 is connected. It also goes amber when there is drive activity. And since we are recording to two drives, to the internal hard drive on the 788T and to the compact flash that's in the 788T, we show this as amber. We're now two minutes into this recording, so we're gonna continue because I think this card that I've got in is gonna run about three minutes. So additional features on the CL2 are that it connects over the C-Link connection and we include this robust C-Link cord for a connection between the CL2 and the 788T. The CL2, as you can see, can be mounted directly onto a boom pole. Not only can it be mounted onto a boom pole, it can be placed in the hand, and it's a very nice handy fader control in the hand and remote control record toggle. You can also assign these switches to other functions as well, so I can set this for other menu items if I want to. So for instance, I could turn my tone oscillator on with a switch, which is quite handy. So the CL2 is available right now, it's shipping, and it requires revision 1.75 firmware on the 788T. 1.75 was released recently and includes numerous fixes, bug fixes, and CL2 support.